Guys, a lot of the times when I bring you one of these product recommendations, I kind of feel like I'm telling you something obvious. Like, you want to hammer a nail in, stop using a spoon and use a hammer. And everybody out there in the world who knows what a hammer is says, yeah, obviously that's what a hammer's for. But uh, there's a lot of tools out there that you know I don't, I'm not aware of, that a lot of people may not be aware of and don't think of. And then you find out that it exists and you're like, of course, that's the perfect tool for the job, duh. Uh, I am uh, 41, 41 years old now. My eyes are not as good as they used to be. And when I'm doing very fine work, I often find myself checking my soldering by holding a magnifying glass, either a magnifying glass on my solder stand or even just a handheld magnifying glass. And I'm holding it up next to my eye and it's, it's really, it's not the best. Uh, and then I saw a video of a watchmaker taking apart a watch to service it and he had a loop. And he had a loop on kind of a headband and he could just like just lift it up, put it down, lift it up and put it down. And I was like, oh my God, of course, a loop. And I didn't know. I always thought of a jeweler's loop as something that you held in your in your hand or that you squinted your eye to hold it in and it wouldn't be good for long term usage. But no, for people like watchmakers who are just going to be taking apart a watch for a half hour, they make these headbands as well. So. Uh, those of you who already use loops and are aware of loops are nodding your head and going, yeah, duh, that's what loops are for. But those, there's a lot of you out there, I bet, who didn't know or didn't think that uh, to do this. And so I'm going to pass this on to you. If you need uh, to look at stuff up close large, like very, very small solder joints, like you're soldering on the pins of your F303 board to do the VBAT mod, and you want to make sure you didn't bridge any of the pins on the processor or anything like that. Uh, man, for eight bucks, you can get a, this is a 13 power loop and a little head mount too. And uh, well worth it. And I think that's probably way better than a handheld magnifying glass. Uh, so there you go. Hope that's helpful. Happy flying.